In this video, we'll look at how we convert between different units of volume. So in our first diagram here, we have one cubic unit. What that means is that we have a length of one by a width of one by a height of one. So therefore, for our volume for that cubic unit is one centimeter cubed. Let's compare that to our second diagram. We have exactly the same shape, but this time, instead of using centimetres, as we have in our first one, we've converted it to millimetres. So remembering that one centimetre is equal to 10 millimetres. So you can see that on each dimension, the length, the width and the height, we've now got 10 millimetres on each of those. So our volume in this case will be 10 times 10 times 10. And so uh, that will give us a volume of 1000. But not centimetres cubed, millimetres cubed. So what that means, because these, remember, are exactly the same size, it must mean that one centimetre cubed is equal to 1000 millimetres cubed. Okay, let's look at our third diagram. In this diagram, what we've got is a height of one meter, a width of one meter, and a length of one meter. And you can see that it's also written in centimeters. So one meter is the same as 100 centimeters on each of those three dimensions. So down the bottom here, we've got the calculation to work out the volume. Remember, this diagram here is actually one cubic metre. That means it was one metre by one metre by one metre. But if we convert that to centimetres, it's 100 times 100 times 100. And when we do that calculation, you can see our answer here is one million centimetres cubed. So what that tells us is that one metre cubed is equal to one million, so six zeros, centimetres cubed. Okay, let's look at how we can remember that using a diagram. So here's a diagram that should be familiar to you. We're used to writing this for length and for area. So let's start with our length calculations. We know that for length, there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So I'm going to put 10 here and 10 here. I also know that there's 100 centimetres in a metre. So I'm going to put 100 here and 100 here. Now going from left to right, following this arrow across here, um, if I say I have 5 metres and I want to know that in centimetres, I multiply by 100. Okay, so I'm still going to multiply as I go across from left to right. But this time, I've got three dimensions. I've got the length, the width, and the height. So if I was just doing length, I would times by 100 and stop at that. If I was doing area, I would times by 100 squared. But I'm doing volume, and volume has three dimensions, so we do the times by 100 cubed. And the same applies to centimetres for centimetres to millimetres cubed, times by 10 cubed. So all you've got to remember is that whatever the unit is, so in this case a 3 for cubic, that's how many times, or that's the number that I put to the power of, so 100 to the power of 3. Okay, so going back along the bottom, if I'm changing from millimetres cubed to centimetres cubed, I divide by 10 cubed. And going from centimetres cubed to, to metres cubed, I divide by 100 cubed. Let's use that in two examples below. So our first example says convert 12,000 millimetres cubed into centimetres cubed. So millimetres cubed to centimetres cubed. In our diagram, what I'm looking at is millimetres 
to centimeters. So I'm following this path along the bottom here. So what do I need to do? I need to take my measurement, which was 12,000, and I need to divide it by 10 cubed. Okay, at that point there, you need to get out your calculator. On your calculator, type in 12,000, divide by 10 to the power of 3. Press equals, and you get 12. So your answer is 12 centimeters cubed. Second example, meters cubed to centimeters cubed. Let's have a look at that one. Meters cubed to centimeters cubed. So which arrow am I following? I'm following the top arrow. So that top arrow tells me to times by 100 cubed. So I started with 48. I'm going to times by 100 cubed. Get your calculator out again. Type in what you need to type in. So 48 times by whoops, 100 cubed. Press equals. Now just make sure you have the right number of zeros. So I've got 48 followed by six zeros. So that's 48 million. And my new units are centimeters cubed. So centimeters cubed. That's how we do volume conversions.